Thing for a loose tooth. My dad used to do this to me all the time. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> I don't think that one's ready to come out yet. Howdy, Tim. Mandy says meet her at Epsom Clock Tower by sundown. Y'all make sure you're there. What was that? It was a text message. <laughs> so how are you enjoying your first day at work? I'm not enjoying it in the slightest. I have to say, the way the patients are treated in this hospital is an outrage. What do you mean? Dr Ancona has just told me that a patient came in here complaining that they felt like a pair of curtains and the doctor just went, ooh, pull yourself together. The way people are treated in this country with mental illnesses is just disgraceful. I think she was telling you a joke. It's not true. A joke? Yes. <laughs> All right, maybe that was a joke, but she also told me that someone came in saying they only had three minutes to live, and the doctor just went, Oh, I'll boil you an egg. <laughs> and surely the situation there should be that she should contact accident and no, emergency. No, that's a joke as well. Is it? Yes. <sighs> what an idiot. <laughs> They're very old jokes. I've never heard them. Uh, I feel like such a prat. <laughs> don't worry about it too much. So it's quite funny, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a good one for you. Hey, Mr Jenkins, you've got blockage of the arteries and you're going to have to have both your legs amputated. That's not a joke. Have <laughs> <laughs> you packed this case yourself, sir? Yes. Are you absolutely certain about that? Absolutely certain. There's no way someone could have slipped something in there? No way at all. You haven't left it unattended for any length of time? No, it's been by my side from the moment I packed it to the moment you brought me in here. Nobody has touched this case except me. I decided what to put in it. Everything in it belongs to me. You're sure? Totally sure. May I have a look inside it, please? I'd sir? rather you didn't. Why not? It's full of drugs. <laughs> This is Houston. You are now linked up live to the nation. Okay, thanks, Houston. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! No! No! What is it, Neil? Nothing! Just my little joke. <laughs> Get on with it, Neil. Okay, on this historic occasion, I would just like to say this may be one small step for man. You still with us, Neil? Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot the next bit. This may be one small step for man. Look, Mom, I'm on the moon. No, that's not it. This may be one small step for man. Wahey! Jeez, what is it? Leo, can you please hurry? Shut up, I know this. I fin to button moon and I followed Mr. Spoon. Neil, just say anything. Okay, I am Neil Armstrong, and as I look down and see you all so many miles away and yet so close to my heart, I say to you, Earthlings. Earthlings? Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell I am? I'm Neil Armstrong, king of the freaking moon. Who the hell are you? No, I'm Neil Armstrong, the moon emperor, and I own this place. It's all mine. So screw you. Neil, just get on the moon and stick the flag in the ground. Okay. This may be one small step for man, but it's one giant leap for mankind. Boston, <laughs> we have a problem. Hello? Can you hold, please? Thank you. Please 
we're told your call is important to us. <laughs> Okay, right then. Whose was what? Tim? Uh, mine's a pint of dolls. Pint of dolls, Jim. I'm on the lobster. Ronnie? Uh, mine's the ham. And Karen? Pint of dice. And a pint of clocks for me. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Here's to the Surreal Ale Society. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing to remember is that children deserve just as much respect as adults. I think it's when we start treating them as inferior, that's when we're on the wrong track. And that's when all the problems begin. Give. 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 You know, I think some parents are so wrapped up in their own world they can't see the mistakes they're making. Fetch! <laughs> sad, children deserve a lot better than that. Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? Oh, will I marry you? I couldn't hear you, no. <laughs> Is it all right if I bring on my travelling chess set? Of course it is. Come on! <laughs> now, some people prefer to replace the original stone with the birth stone. Make it a bit more personal. Would you prefer that? Oh, that's a good idea. OK, we'll do that. All right, what's your birth stone? Come on, you should know this. I told you last week. Let me help. When's her birthday? <laughs> Well, it doesn't have to be the exact date, just the month. <laughs> Maybe you should go for a necklace instead. That's a good idea. What do you say? Yeah, right, whatever. Well, we could get that engraved, mate. That's more personal. OK. What's the name? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. What's the matter, Tim? Oh, hi. Uh, I just can't decide whether to marry Debbie or not. I can't seem to make a decision one way or the other. Well, what are you doing to help you come to a decision? Well, the only thing I have done is I've made a list of pros and I've made a list of cons. There are 20 pros and 20 cons, and I'm trying to weigh them up. Would you want me to go through the list with you? Would you? Yeah, sure. So, you give me the pros, you have the cons, I'll read a pro, you read a con, and we'll alternate like that. Anything strikes me, I'll let you know. OK. I'll start. She loves me, and I love her. She murdered her fourth husband. <laughs> there you go. Daddy, will you tell me a bedtime story? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there was a man called Freddy Krueger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 